What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Shishi Meditations. And I'm coming at you live from beautiful Playa Blanca in Costa Rica. Uh, this is a crazy beach that I'm at with my buddy John Don Music, who's behind the camera. Um, and the only way to get here is to like hike through this like little mountain thing. Um, but I wanted to come here and shoot a few quick videos for you guys um, about a book that I've been reading that's really been changing the, the way that I look at everything. Um, and I've read a lot of books in my life about personal development, spirituality, and this current book that I'm reading, it's called Letting Go by David R. Hawkins. And it's really just completely changing the game for me. Um, and I wanted, just, I wanted to make a three-part video series. Each video will be a couple minutes just talking about some concepts in this book. Um, for those of you who've been following my channel, you might have already seen the ayahuasca videos that I've recorded by now. And if there was one piece of advice that I could give to someone going into an ayahuasca ceremony, um, including myself the next time that I feel called to do it, it would be two simple words. Let go. Just keep letting go. And if you can keep letting go of your preference on how a situation should be or how your energy should be or how you should be feeling or what emotions should be going through your body, you'll be able to navigate through an ayahuasca ceremony, which is really like a supercharged microcosm for life. Um, really well. So this book, Letting Go by David Hawkins, they basically talk about um, how he describes different emotions and how each emotion is a different vibrational frequency. So the lowest frequency emotion is shame. And the highest frequency emotion he talks about is peace. And as you travel up these vibrational frequencies and emotions, as you let go of one emotion, you move up to the next one. You keep moving up. So from shame, when, you, when you're able to let go of shame, then you move into guilt. And then when you're able to let go into, of guilt, you move, move into uh, grief and you keep going up. And basically, he has another book called Power Versus Force, where he talks about the lower vibration emotions. When you're operating from those, regardless of what you're doing, when your intention is being charged by these lower negative emotions, everything is a struggle. Everything is forced, basically. So that's the force part of Power Versus Force. And you might have noticed this in your own life when maybe you're trying to get something done or you're trying to manifest something into your life. And it just seems like no matter how hard you try, you just can't seem to get this thing that you've been trying to get so badly. And this is something I've experienced a lot with music, uh, for one, definitely. And also my personal life, specifically with dating and, and my romantic life, where I'm like, why am I not attracting the quality of woman that I want or the quality of relationship that I want? And if I boil it down, it always comes down to the fact that as soon as I am acting out of one of these negative emotions, whether it's fear or shame or guilt, everything, the world suddenly becomes the most difficult thing and everything you're doing is coming from a place of forcing it. So in the next video, I'm going to talk about the turning point of how you can go from uh, force into power. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next video.